Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I'm gonna to show you a tour of my very first 2024 Cruise Light 273 QBXL. So you're gonna have all the new features on this that 2024 has to offer. And I think you're really gonna like it. They went in a really good direction. They didn't change decor because it didn't, quite frankly, didn't really need it. They always looked good but they added in a lot of really useful features. Bigger windows up front, on-demand hot water heater, that is huge. And then also an electric slide of bed that's on a, what they call a VersaTilt. So basically the bed up in the front, the head, you can, you know, move it up and it kind of like V's or, I don't know how to do my hand like that, but kind of like V's. Uh, so that way you can sit up and watch a movie and just kind of use the space a little bit more for walk around room, so really cool. But again, it's the 2023 Cruise Light 273 QBXL. All the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes will be down in the description of this video. And if you guys dig my style, want to see some future RV content, hit that like and subscribe button. Really help me hit my goal of 30,000 subscribers. Now this X right here, that's going to indicate it's got the platinum package. So you're going to see fiberglass exterior, a little rock guard up front, and then upgraded steel wheels. So this is gonna be the decked out version of the cruise light. So very cool for sure. Big old oversized slide right here with the Versa Lounge setup. I'll show you that here in a second. You got the bunk room back in the back, which is really good versatile space with a flip up bunk and a sofa. Obviously you got your kitchen and your bathroom right there. And then you have the bedroom up behind this door. But let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and start now that we're kind of oriented with the camper. So right up here, <coughs> excuse me, this is going to be your entertainment section. You'll see you're going to get accent lighting there on the floor and then here above the slide for a nice ambient glow at night. But you can probably fit yourself up about a 50 inch TV or so, you know, I would say right there. So that's nice. You're also going to have the appropriate plugins right through here with a little, um, you know, whatever you want to call that thing, a little hole, you know, to organize your cords. You're also prepped up for the King Connect. So you can call up like AT&T or Verizon, get that extender and you know, you have Wi-Fi on the road. Storage both to the left and right. I love how they kept the mirrored finish for the fireplace. That was new to 2023. So I like seeing that. Just that mirrored finish just adds kind of a nice little touch to it. Couple different color modes. There's going to be orange, red, blue, and I believe white. So that's nice. It also has a setting, goes all the way up to hundred degrees, heats up 500 square feet of space. So in an RV this size, that electric heater, which is essentially a really fancy space heater, will be more than enough to heat up the entirety of this area and probably even get back into the bunk room, really saving you some money on propane. So again, you got the accent lighting there up above. Big, big slide with that Versa Lounge. You'll also see you got the old Dracula shades, the night shades, stop the old skin from sizzling up, help maintain the presence and the color of the furniture, you know, on those days where it's a little bit warm and this heat's beating down in there. Uh, you know, you can kind of block out the sun. Also has the tinted windows and every window, um, I'm sorry, not every window, the two big windows, the main windows open up for a nice cross breeze and they also have a screen. The side ones don't open up, but they're useful for a good view and to let in some natural light. As far as height is concerned, you know, I'm six feet tall, probably put it somewhere around earshot, maybe around five, seven. So unless you come in like a barbarian, you got more than enough headroom right there. That way you don't bonk your head. Now this Versa Lounge, really darn cool this part right here has storage underneath but you can also pull that flip it up and go down in a jackknife to make this you know one big area you can also take this little kind of backboard right here and you can take it and you can move it to right here or completely remove it to make this one massive sleeping space so really digging that i think it makes it really nice and useful you know good use you got kids they want friends or you got a phone call that had a couple too many drinks you just want a place to stick them you're good to go. But the dinette, you can flip that around, make one big U-shaped dinette, obviously the mini dinette, you know, or no dinette by kicking out those legs and dropping it down. I've also seen people put, you know, like dog cages there, something like that. So I think that's pretty nice. AC here up on the ceiling. It's also got the two dump valves. So if you want to disproportionately, you know, kind of hog that cold air for this room, just open that up and you are good to go. You're gonna have your kitchen set up right here. You got the Furion 12 volt refrigerator with that black ice finish. Check out that bowling gun and that thing, baby. Had a bowling tournament yesterday. Came in second, came in second. That was a bummer. I think we lost by about 20 pins. So uh, thanks a lot guys, let me down. I killed it, but <laughs> I'm just messing with you. 
But so the 12 volt refrigerator here, um, it runs off of your solar, runs off of a car battery, of course shore power, you know, when you're, uh, or when you're driving down the road, you know your truck. But I like this because the gas and electric, uh, it's just not as effective. This will be one just like, one just like inside your home, except for the fact that it has the additional power sources like the solar. Furion microwave, the Furion hood, and the Furion oven, so I like that they sync them all up. You're gonna get your three stovetop burner, an oven big enough for a pizza, possibly, you know, some uh, cookies, something like that. But you also got the fan to help suck out some of the steam or stink from whatever you're cooking. You also get another window right there for a nice little breeze, plenty of countertop space. You get a plastic bowl here that's separated into two areas, maybe like a wet and a dry zone. You also get a drying rack and then your high rise faucet, hitting those dishes from all angles. Couple pull out drawers for some storage. It's gonna be your welcoming packet here from Forest River. So it'll have things like your manuals. Underneath you have access to your plumbing, but then also some good storage space, you know, maybe for some of your cleaning stuff. You also got the glass insert. So I like seeing that. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. This customer did opt to go ahead and put on the Furion observation camera. So that's what this is gonna be right here. This is the box for it, but it's essentially 550 bucks backup camera and you get a screen that suction cups right onto your windshield so you can see what's going on behind you while you're driving down the road. No wasted space in the 2024, so I like seeing this. It's a little mini pantry, you know, do with what it, uh, do whatever you want with it, but it's nice for some stowaway items, possibly some food, you know, something like that when you're parked up. This is gonna be the control for your heat and AC. And then of course you got the old bathroom ski. Just enough room to sit down and do your business more access to your plumbing and storage. Got a little sink right there with some storage space. Medicine cabinet here behind the old Mirski. And then, boom, pretty good size shower as well. And I like how they rounded this out just to give you just a little bit more space. Now I am six feet tall, about 295 pounds of handsome RV salesman. And uh, this is kind of the space that you get right there. So enough to get it done. I'm not feeling too cramped but I'm not spending an hour in there showering either. And like I was saying for the 2024, you got that on-demand hot water heater, so you can definitely take a longer, than sh longer shower than most RVs on the market. Window, you're also gonna see USBs and USBs with the teddy bear mattresses, really nice and comfortable. And then this is gonna be your flip down, uh, your flip down bunk. So boom, you're good to go. It's also got a strut, so it's hands-free. There's going to be another sofa, pull and drop it down. It's going to be on the jackknife, a little bit more comfortable sleeping, maybe for one of the older kids. A window right here that just provides a little bit of natural light, you know, avoid just kind of sitting in here and vampire mode in it, but it also opens up for a nice cross breeze. You're also going to see you got plenty of storage in your fuse box. So if something isn't working, make sure to check that out. Right here, you have your two USBs and an outlet uh, for your cable. So that way you can hang up a TV, you know, maybe play some video games on those rainy days, catch a movie at night, something like that. I like that angle. That's a good looking, it's a good looking camper. Doesn't get much better than that. You're not spending a ton. You get all the space that you need for a bunch of people. You can really start traveling around. So this is where I think things get pretty darn interesting. You see how that bed's up on that angle. That is the slide of bed that I was telling you about. It's going to be a custom king bed. So a little bit larger than most. It's going to be 66 by 78. You also get these oversized windows in this 24. So that's awesome. So that's going to be an emergency exit right there. Pull, push, and pop. You can get out in a hurry if you need to. USB ports. USB ports. Another oversized window. And this is going to be the control for that Versa tilt. So right here it's in that up mode. Now you just hold it down. It takes a little while, but uh, you know you can't complain. You're getting something extra, and you're good to go. I think it's pretty nice. Let me know what you think. Maybe drop a comment. Tell me how you like the new changes. Well, see, now you're nice and flat, and you're good to go. So, pretty cool. Over to the left and right, the storage is going to be the same. Hanging items, but it also has a little cubby entrance, so if you need to drop a CPAP in there, you're going to have outlets, and then outlet with the same cubby, same storage. Little overhead air action, a place right here that is backed up so that way you can put a TV along with the appropriate plugins. And then underneath here, probably should have showed that first. Um, this opens up, you have access from the outside if you would like, but you also get those little storage totes to help out for you know organizational purposes. 
go ahead and get that closed up. But all right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the inside portion of the tour. Again, it's the 2024 Cruise Light 273 QBXL. Now let's go around on the outside and uh, show you where everything is. Oh, before I do, might as well show you this. This is the control panel. So this is your Suburban on-demand hot water heater. You got the lights that are on a dimmer, so you're good to go there. You also have your slide controls, more of your light controls, your water pump, and then this is where you can test all your um, your levels for like your water, your black tank, and all that. Then you got your 30 amp charge controller too. If you ever put you know solar on top of this, that's how you make sure what the solar is doing for you. Solar on board, baby. All right. So again, the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes will be down in the description of this video. Couple decal changes for 2024, so it's looking a little bit cleaner there in my opinion. But you get some good pass-through storage system. This customer also bought the Blue Ox weight distribution system. Dry, er oh, that was a wasp, okay. Dry erase surface right here, so you can write out maybe your camping list. Manual stabilizing jack, so I like seeing that. It's gonna be more of a lift jack, give you a much more comfortable you know, position when you are setting up. You can see that awning is pretty good size. I'm gonna guess somewhere around 18 feet with the LED lights running underneath it. You also get the two exterior marine grade speakers. So get the inside and outside bumping. That's that suburban hot water heater. Fresh water connection, dual axle. You're also gonna see you have plugins for an outside TV if you would like, two outlets and your cable hookup. You also get the outside refrigerator. Fit yourself up a 24 pack of apple juice there. And then you get the griddle. You know, hook up some, uh, maybe some eggs or bacon, and maybe some tofu if that's kind of your style. And then you have a spray port for some hot water access. There's also gonna be the LP Quick Connect right there uh, to power up that griddle, or if you wanna use like a more traditional, you know, grill or something, that will connect right up to your propane tanks. Bumper with a spare tire. That right there is going to be where that observation camera is set up. The nice thing about that is not only can you see what's going on behind you with some distance markers, but you can actually angle it down at your bumper so that way you can see what's going on. It's also got a little built-in microphone so you can hear and kind of communicate a little bit. City water connection and your black tank flush. If you're not familiar with the black tank flush, it's basically a sprinkler system for your poop tank. It is prepped for the Lippert on-the-go ladder system. So about $285, $295 right on Lippert's website. It's this ladder that hooks into those two little openings and it's telescoping so you can get on top of your roof. You know, check your seals, check your slides. You'll be good to go. Cable and satellite connection. You also have your sewer dump valve and then this is gonna be where you plug in your camper. Nice and sturdy there. You're also prepped for a slide topper where you can see those little sleeves. That'll run you about 700 bucks to have that installed if that's something that you would like to do. And then the back end of the pass-through storage here. Heading up the front, you got your battery disconnect. We provide you with a battery and we'll fill up your propane. You also get your power tongue jack. So it makes life nice and easy. But guys, again, this was the 2024 Cruise Light 273 QBXL. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's anything else I can do in these videos to help you out. Again, my name is Hunter. Hope to see you next time. See ya.